firefighters battle to salvage a three-story building in the Mushi area of Lagos after a petrol-laden tanker exploded at a nearby filling station. It was learned that the tanker was of loading fuel at the filling station around 1 p.m. today when it suddenly caught fire and spread to the residential building. In an interview with Captain TV, victims of the fire incident said they had warned the filling stations on the means used in offloading fuel into the stations. However, they were ignored and also blamed the fire service for arriving late. We have warned these uh, people operating around here several times about their illicit affairs, especially the time they will bring fuel and the time they will take it away. And many times they will just be, you know, offloading fuel here during the day. And we have already warned them. Imagine what happened this morning in a very hot sun. Someone trying to hold phone and offloading here. No, there will be spark. You understand what I'm saying? Then apart from that, there are a lot of things. Several times we have tried to give them caution. They don't take notes. They just believe they are too big. You understand what I'm saying? Eventually it happens. We have warned them. Anyway, for me, I was not around. I, never, I was not closer. I didn't even know it was my house. So I just got closer. When I was just way the distance, I found out that it was my uh, house here. So on getting closer, I tried to get whatever I could get, but I couldn't get any because I live upstairs. And you know upstairs, the roof will be the first to, you know, to get uh, caught by the fire. So, well, the fire service people tried. They tried so much, but unfortunately they came late. If we left the people, the onlookers around, they would have been able to quench this if they had the equipment the fire people had. What I'm saying is that some documents will have been saved. You know the value of documents these days, especially dealing with government, dealing with, you know, legal issues. We have a lot of valuable documents there. We have, they have labor for, for years. She just applied for Lagos State uh, this is. All the documents she showed them, is already, they are already here. Masters, PhD, they are already there. So we have nothing to show for it. I'm not bothered about a clothes or any other thing, but document. Yes, it takes to get document. And that's the fact. The owner of this house may be compensated, but what about the document? They say we will swear, David, you know how cumbersome it is to get things done in Lagos. So I don't really want to like come out because I was tired. So, but I, not until I heard people shouting and I was on a rapper. Quickly, I ran out to see what was happening. I mean, I just came out. The reflect, the the was the fume, the fumes of the burnt uh, or the fire just like uh, was too much on me. I, I had to close my eyes and run run inside. So when I got inside, I was confused. I don't know what to do or pick again. The only thing I just laid my hand on was my my handphone, and I picked these clothes. So I do, I can't pass through this front uh, staircase. I had to pass through the by the back and that was just all my children are in school i had money inside because i was preparing for my all my credentials all what i've tried for throughout my life i'm a graduate and i've applied for my masters so all what i've tried for i couldn't pick out anything because i was after my safety immediately i saw that that huge films i thought ah there is nothing i want to look for again in the house the most important thing that I'm just that just pain me most is all my credentials that have gone down. Olamide Adiemi, Captain TV News, Lagos.